What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, we are talking about Winterfest 2020, which goes live at the exact moment that I'm posting this video. So, we have brand new Winterfest challenges and some free rewards. I'm going to be showing you all the rewards in-game, thanks to my friend FN Information on Twitter. Make sure to go follow him. I'll put a link in the description to his Twitter, as well as my Twitter if you want to follow him as well. Uh, both of us, we always keep up on leaks. He posts leaks, I retweet leaks. I also post concepts very often. But uh, anyways, Operation Snowdown is the name of these Winterfest challenges this year. At the current moment of recording this video, it does not seem like we're going to have the Winterfest cabin. We don't have any presents this year. Uh, all of our rewards are strictly within challenges. So, with that being said, let's go over the challenges. Starting off with today, our first challenge today is to, well, complete quests. And of course, you have to complete the Operation Snowdown quests to get access to the two free outfits that we are going to be getting this year. Snowmando is available from completing 9, and Frost Squad is available from completing 12. Our next two challenges that we're going to be having on day one visit different Snowmando outposts. This is only one. I, they're, on the challenge list it says you only have to visit one. Knowing Epic, they tend to list it as one and then change it to a higher amount. So if there's different Snowmando outposts, I'm... I'm sorry, but this is the location of where I think the only one will be. The reason I say this is because Snowmando is going to be monitoring a specific outpost and he's only going to have one character on the map. So if you want to go visit Snowmando, he is over here. The next challenge that we're going to have on day one is to search chests at Snowmando outposts. You have to search five chests, and this will actually reward you with the Shield Surprise Backbling. This was actually, I think, created by uh, Shark Tooths, or maybe it wasn't, and they just kind of made the idea and then realized he did too. I don't know, but I know that uh, Shark Tooths actually created this as a concept, so who knows? Maybe it was his concept that made it into the game. Now, for the rest of these, I'm going to be going over the other challenges as of the recording of this video. I do not know what these challenges will look like. Uh, in like what one will release what day I can make other challenge guides on these specific challenges uh, I'm gonna be making videos probably every day talking about each and completing them myself so uh, you guys will also be looking at my reactions to the rewards as well as my reactions to the challenges and how easy they are the rest of the challenges that we have are to deal damage with the lever action rifle. You have to deal 100 damage. This will reward you with the fish fest emoticon, as seen here. Another challenge in this list is to dance at holiday trees, five of them. Here are all five locations of the holiday trees. This also rewards you with this spray with snow mando on it. The next challenge is to place top 10 with friends and squads. Yes, you have to have friends. I'm sorry for those of you who play solo. Uh, I don't know why they decide to do challenges like this. But anyways, you can place top 10 with friends and squads. Uh, you have to do this three times, and this rewards the snow steel wrap. The next challenge that is on this list is to destroy Nutcracker statues. You have to destroy five of them. I will post a location video on the Nutcracker statues when it comes that time, uh, but as of now, I don't necessarily know where they are. So when it comes to that time and I have to make a video on it, I'll show you guys where the statues are. But for right now, I don't know. And this is the reward that you get from this challenge. This is the Blustery Bag, which might I add, this is a really cool like pet style back bling. This is actually, uh, it's a snowman that moves and he's animated. So, that's really cool. <laughs> I'm really liking the fact that we get a, a moving snowman on our back as a back bling. So, interesting. The next challenge that's on this list is to travel 5,000 meters in X4 Stormwings. Yes, X4 Stormwings are coming back, hopefully. They removed the playlist the other day. I believe Air Royale was actually in that playlist. 
but um, they were talking about having Air Royale and planes come back. So as of now, when I'm recording this video, the planes are not in the game, but who knows, those Snowdown playlist matches might come back and we might be getting ourselves some Air Royale. So if planes do come back, this is the challenge you have, traveling 5,000 meters, thus rewarding this emoticon here called the Snow Blaster. Now, one thing about this emoticon is that it's actually available in another challenge later on. This challenge is to deal damage at Snowmando outposts. So they're either going to be removing the X4 Stormwing planes, or they are going to be having two other challenges that you could do to actually get these items, which is pretty interesting. But they only, they only do this for two items, this emoticon and a glider. And as a matter of fact, the glider that I'm talking about you have to shoot down opponent structures, 10 of them, with an X4 Stormwing. This rewards the Winter Wing Glider. Or, if you want to get a little bit frosty with it, uh, you can use the Chiller Launcher, which is available as an exotic weapon from Snowmando, I believe. Uh, you can go to Snowmando, buy the Chiller Launcher for some gold, and apply some icy feet to your opponents, which means just basically shoot Chiller Launchers at your opponents and uh, give them some icy feet. So you have to shoot 10 people with a chiller launcher. Mm, I can see why they're giving you two options at the glider, if that's the case. Because why would they make you spend so much gold on an exotic just to probably get eliminated right away? And they're not even available in Team Rumble either. So, kind of confusing. The next challenge is to collect gold bars. Speaking of gold, we have to collect 100 of them. This rewards us with the GG Fresh emoticon. The next one is to catch a snowy flopper. Snowy floppers, I believe, are most commonly found in the snowy areas, but they could be found anywhere else. So just go fishing, try to find yourself a snowy flopper, and you'll get yourself this free pickaxe called the toe pick. Revive a player in different matches. You have to do three different matches reviving a player. Easy if you have friends, kind of annoying if you have no friends. This actually rewards the merry marauding loading screen. The next challenge is hide inside a sneaky snowman in different matches three times. This will actually reward you with the Merry Fishmas spray. The next challenge is to play duos or squads with friends. Again, another friends challenge. So for those of you that are solo players, oof, that's all I can say. But anyways, you have to play five duos or squads matches with friends, and this actually rewards you with my favorite pickaxes that we've ever gotten for free these are the frosty globes and yes we get them for free thank you epic thank you for not making me pay 800 for these because these pickaxes are sick i love them like tell me you don't like these these are awesome and of course the last challenge in this list stoke a campfire twice pretty easy all you have to do is go to a campfire ignite it stoke it once wait a couple seconds stoke it again and then you're done. And this actually rewards you with the confetti wrap. So, that is all. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, make sure to check out my daily videos on me completing the Operation Snowdown challenges. For today, I will not be completing a challenge on video recording because this will be replacing that for today. But I will be recording one video every day for the remainder of Operation Snowdown until these challenges have ended. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to use my supporter creator code, here it is on screen. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure you're staying tuned with all of the challenges and everything else like that. I will try my best to make more guides. I've been a little iffy on making challenge guides lately because I've been out of it, but I'm kind of getting back into it and I'm kind of getting ready to edit more. So, that is all. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.